Hello dear students. So let us continue our lesson. So today we are going to learn about the chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Already we have learned about one of the chemical property that metallic oxides are basic in nature and non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. So for that we have studied uh, reaction of metal and non-metal with oxygen. So that is over. So today we will learn how metals and non-metals react with water. Actually, non-metals do not react with water. Okay, but that is a difference that metal will react with water. Uh, some metals will react with wa water, whereas non-metals do not react with water. That is a major difference. So we will uh, learn about that. See here, uh, reaction with water. Sodium metal is very reactive. It reacts vigorously with oxygen and water. A lot of it, it reacts vigorously means it is more reactive with oxygen and water. So, a lot of heat is generated in this reaction. So, if you are taking a piece of sodium, a small piece of sodium, and if you put in water, it the sodium just burns like anything and it will produce more heat. Okay, so a lot of heat is generated in this reaction. Therefore, storium cannot be stored. How we are storing other metals? We cannot store uh, sodium in a container and all because it may react with oxygen. So, that's why sodium is stored inside the kerosene. So, it, the safest place for the sodium is it is stored in kerosene because it doesn't react with it. But it reacts with water and it burns like anything. So that is what the speciality of sodium that you have to understand in this chapter. That is sodium is very reactive with oxygen and water. Hence it is stored in kerosene. Some other metals do not do so. So some metals are very reactive whereas some metals are not so. For example, iron reacts with water slowly. So you have seen the iron iron bars, iron window, screen, window panels and all you have seen and we know that the iron do not react in the way the sodium does. The reaction of iron with oxygen or water is very slowly. So some metals will react very slowly and also I told that some metals like gold, platinum, silver, they do not at all react with water and air. Generally, and this is what I would like to tell about metals, that some metals are more reactive, some metals are very slow reacting, and some metals do not react at all. What about non-metals? See here, generally non-metals do not react with water, though they may be very reactive in air. Such non-metals are stored in water. Some non-metals are very reactive in air, but it is not at all reactive in water. For example, see here, phosphorus is very reactive in air. It catches fire if exposed to air. To prevent this, phosphorus is stored in water. See here, in this, in your test, they have mentioned about two elements. The one is sodium, it is stored in kerosene. To prevent the reaction between water and air and one more non-metal that is phosphorus it is very reactive to air that's why it is stored in kerosene it is very reactive with the water that is why it is stored in kerosene it is stored in water sorry so this is what uh, the reaction with water this is the difference next is reaction with acids so reaction with acids is a uh, is a, a reaction where Every year we do this in the laboratory and all. So in this reaction what happens especially uh, metals. See here, <clears throat> here reaction when we learn about reaction with acid, what is the difference is metals react with acid whereas non-metals will not react with acid. As we learned in water, metals reacted with water. The same way non-metals do not react with water. In the same way, metals react with acids, non-metal will not react with acids. That is the difference. Then if metals are reacting with acids, how do they react? We will learn. Metals react with dilute acids 
to form the salts with the liberation of hydrogen you know what are salt because in 7th standard you have learned about acid bases and salt okay so when metals react with acid it forms a salt and it liberate a hydrogen gas okay so we will study see metals with dilute acid uh, metal salt plus hydrogen for example sodium sodium reacts with hcl and and what is produced nacl plus h2 so this react uh, this is what uh, is this is a salt that is nacl sodium chloride is a salt produced and hydrogen is liberated and how will you know that hydrogen is liberated so if you take a test tube and put a little sodium and put a little uh, hydrochloric acid what happens is uh, a gas will be liberated and we don't know which what type of gas it is so how to identify whether it is a hydrogen gas so we have to bring a lighted uh, lighted match stick near to the uh, mouth of the beaker the flame put, will be put off with the sound pop it will the flame will be put off with a pop sound okay so that tells that the liberated gas is hydrogen so i have put the video also so that you can see for that so magnesium it reacts with hydrochloric acid and gives mgcl2 that is magnesium chloride it is salt with the liberation of hydrogen gas metals react with sodium hydro hydroxide and produces hydrogen gas so that is uh, this is the base actually sodium hydroxide means it is the base even the metals will react with acid also and metals will react with sodium hydroxide that is base also and produce hydrogen gas so here in your book they have given one table uh, to uh, and they are asking you See here they have given the metal and non metal that is magnesium is a metal aluminum is a metal iron is a metal copper is a metal whereas charcoal is non metal and uh, and sulfur is a uh, non metal so what reaction you will get so if you are uh, uh, taking dilute hydrochloric acid what reaction is shown see here you can see that almost all the metals will react with hydrogen isn't it and there will be a rapid rea reaction rapid reaction means the reaction is very fast with the liberation of hydrogen gas aluminum also will react to give hydrogen gas it's a rapid reaction iron also reacts to give hydrogen gas it's a rapid reaction uh, copper uh, it doesn't show any reaction okay whereas your non metal is not showing at all any reaction sulfur is also not showing. what does it mean that non metals will not react with the acids here also they have given dilute sulfuric acid it is it is one more of the strong acid so what is the same thing here magnesium will react to give hydrogen aluminum also is reacting to give hydrogen iron also reacts and it is all a rapid reaction whereas your non metals will not react at all okay okay this is the video of uh, the reaction of metals with acid what we want is a uh, test tube we are putting hydrochloric acid in that and now we are putting a, a spoon of zinc granule okay now the reaction is taking place and how to know that whether hydrogen gas is liberated or not to find out what they have done you see you can directly hold the match stick to the mouth of the big of the test tube also you can collect the hydrogen in the the delivery tube we okay, have shown see okay you can see the gas coming outside now take a mastic and you can see a pop sound you can hear a pop sound so the flame of the mastic will be put off by giving a pop sound pop sound understood so this is now we will learn about a new topic that is displacement reaction so this displacement reaction is happening or occur only in metals so we will see what is the displacement reaction displace what is the meaning of displace 
for example so whenever i put it action now coming to displacement reaction what is this displacement reaction the reaction in which a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element uh, from its solution is called displacement reaction so what is this is see here can you see fe plus cuso4 so cuso4 is a solution okay so you are taking the cuso4 solution so here what which which uh, metal is there copper copper is there and when we add iron to it what happens is because iron is stronger or re more reactive than copper let us see whether it is so see here see this reactivity series so this is why i have made this reactivity series so that you will understand see see our copper is here okay but the iron is here who is more reactive iron or copper iron is more reactive than copper because copper is below iron so when in this solution copper sulfate solution when iron is added what iron does is iron will remove copper and it will take its position can you see the iron has removed copper from the solution and it has been in it it is been associated with the sulfate so it has removed the copper in the solution that reaction is called displacement reaction displacing the metal from the solution so who is displacing the metal from the solution the stronger metal will displace the weaker metal and that reaction is called displacement reaction this displacement reaction you have to learn, you have to understand it properly because it will be carried this uh, concept will be carried in your 10th also you have to learn this in the 10th standard also so see here one more uh, example is given see can you see a copper sulfate solution again copper sulfate solution is taken and we are adding a metal called zinc who is strong zinc is strong or copper is strong let us see see here zinc is here copper is here and again who is strong zinc is strong and copper is weak so what happens so zinc is will remove copper from the solution and it will form zinc sulfate so this is called displacement reaction and in your textbook and this is uh, the uh, uh, representation that a plus b c a will replace b okay so i have uh, taken a video also so that you will understand it in the test displacement reaction so a plus b c this is a compound b c this is a metal so what i what is happening see yes because this is more reactive the b goes near a see here what is taken iron is taken iron nail and in this is the big uh, this is a test tube having copper sulfate solution okay two b uh, test tube with copper sulfate solution now what what happens introduce into one test tube a uh, iron nail so because iron is more reactive than copper what happens is now uh, remove the iron from the test tube so see here you can see that what all copper was there in the copper sulfate solution is been deposited on the iron nail and can you see the solution all the copper from the solution is removed and the color will be a pale a pale color uh, okay so earlier when copper was there the copper solution color was bluish color and now see it is green greenish so that is how